I had an area of my yard that when it would flood, that water would sit there for a week and it wouldn't drain. And so somebody came in and was talking about the, the uh, John and Bob's products. I started using it, forgot about it, left my hose on, forgot about it, flooded my whole backyard. And I walk out there and I thought, my backyard is going to be flooded for a week. Turn off the hose, within a couple hours, it is all drained. So when I started my landscape design company, uh, I knew that I would incorporate this into all my projects because you don't develop a very good reputation if you put in a beautiful landscape and a month later everything looks like crap. And so if you do things right and improve people's chances for success, that's how you build, build a good reputation. So I use these products because to me they're very cost efficient, they're easy to use. Um, I like to say they're old lady proof, <laughs> you know, because you don't have to till things in, very low maintenance, you, you scatter things like you're feeding the chickens. So what we're attempting to do in a very uh, concentrated way is allow you to produce redwood ecosystem type um, soil uh, in your own gardens. And we think the key to that is healthy soil. The key to healthy soil is life in the soil. All kinds of beneficial life, beneficial bacteria, beneficial fungi, good protozoa, good nematodes. That whole uh, system underneath our feet here is incredible, capable of doing all kinds of things that we don't even completely understand. And I submit to you that um, this is really the way to address almost all pest and disease issues in your garden, almost all fertility problems, almost all uh, yield problems. It's, it's life in the soil. And even more uh, unknown uh, disease problems like if you go to a nursery like Reagan's and ask well I haven't done this maybe they have a solution but most uh, don't have a solution to fire blight or or verticillium wilt those are usually kind of uh, problems that are without solutions and I submit that our best bet on all of those mysterious types of maladies that affect plants is life in the soil and it's there's an incredible network of ways that um, it can solve almost every pest and disease there is. Not only solve those pests and diseases, but at the same time, Annie referred to, uh, to heavy clay soil, it's life in the soil that can solve every soil problem. It can change clay soil, it can change sandy soil, it can change alkaline acid, uh, caliche, Every kind of problem soil, if you can figure out a way to get that life in the soil to thrive, that's the answer and, it'll, and it will change your soil over time. Now, not, it doesn't work like synthetic fertilizer, like miracle Grow, which you apply and you see the results in a week or two. We're trying to change soil. That takes a little time. So to build soil, to build life in the soil, we use products like ours on an ongoing basis and we change it over time. And one of the important things is every time you have an opportunity to do some kind of input in the soil, I would prefer that it be an input that can build life rather than, and with something like miracle Grow or a synthetic fertilizer, it doesn't build life. Plants like the nutrients in those products, but soil isn't benefited by them. We gave you each um, a little sample of Optimize. Optimize was our first product that we came out with in about 2004. And Optimize is basically 
like a concentrated organic matter. And what organic matter does in soil, you're probably aware, is pretty much magical. And so we wanted to come up with like a concentrated magic. So if this little bag will treat a thousand square feet, we're, we've got something really important that can be applied easily and uh, isn't uh, very expensive. And it does what organic matter does in soil. So it coats all the soil particles, whether they're sand or they're clay. If they're clay, it's kind of like putting flour on pizza dough. Uh, organic matter makes it so that um, you'll have a better exchange of air and water. And if there's sand, it makes it so they'll retain moisture better. Organic matter is food for microbes. That's really an important one because we're trying to build uh, the microbial, we want complex microbial life in, in your soil. So this is, uh, organic matter is a start to building that because it's food for, uh, microbes. This is the best fertilizer I've ever used because it's not only food for plants like miracle Grow, but it's, it's excellent food for the soil. So that's why it has a big advantage over miracle Grow. We can feed the soil, we can build life, we can build fungi that's going to eat those uh, eat that bad fungus, we can build good nematodes that's going to eat bad nematodes, and fertilize the lawn and the plants all at the same time. When I tell you the source, I think you might appreciate why it's such a beneficial organic fertilizer. It's made from the bloom of cultured soybean meal and cottonseed meal. So when those cultures bloom, that bloom is called mycelium. The mycelium is cut and dried. This is dried mycelium high in macronutrients, high in micronutrients. And as you might imagine, the bloom of, of fungi and bacteria is great food for microbes. And that's really um, one of its biggest advantage. It builds biomass or, or organic matter life in the soil. We have Maximize which is a combination of um, a real high quality organic compost uh, mixed with, uh, somebody asked me about azomite and we used to use azomite in uh, Maximize, but we switched to one that we think is a little better than azomite and it's, um, it's ground up basalt and almost every mer mineral in the periodic table is in it. Minerals are great for life in the soil. And it has um, mycorrhiza that Annie talked about a little bit. So I, mycorrhiza is the most famous beneficial fungi. It attaches itself to roots and makes plants uh, tremendously healthy. And uh, it makes soil tremendously healthy. Um, so Maximize is a soil builder and it doesn't really have macronutrients or a, a lot of micronutrients in it. So you're used to looking at fertilizers that have the three numbers. Um, when you look at this, we had to put the three numbers on there, but they don't look like there's much going on. But there's all kinds of things going on in terms of the soil building capacity. So the liquid product is called Penetrate Liquid Biotiller. So that when you have a name like Penetrate Liquid Biotiller, it's obvious what it's supposed to do. The thing is, it does much more than what the name infers, but it does what the name infers, which is uh, it softens soil immediately uh, and on the long term because it has things like, uh, we keep it in two parts. Let me, I'll finish that sentence in a second. Uh, it comes in two parts, A and B. The B is bacteria and the A is food for the bacteria. And we want, we don't want to put them together in the container because the bacteria will start eating the food. We want that to happen in your soil. So we keep the bacteria and the food for the bacteria separate. When you're ready to apply it, you mix it together with water and you apply it. And it, uh, the saponin in it, acts as a soil penetrant 
So on a quick basis, it'll improve the exchange of air and water in your soil and the permeability of your soil. But what really does on a long-term basis is the fact that bacteria is the lowest form of life in soil. And these products together start this powerful process of building life in the soil. Simple topical applications, you can use a hosing sprayer, you can use a backpack sprayer, you can use a big bucket. So I think um, that's the best I can do on a, on a quick, uh, simple level to get you uh, as much information as possible to understand the whole idea behind the products. And um, I'm willing to, uh, we'll see if I've been successful in uh, uh, prompting any questions. Happy to answer any questions that you have. So in a big area like yours, um, uh, I would recommend Optimize because, um, uh, let's see, 42 pounds treats 14,000 square feet. And I would do that uh, now because, and then take advantage of rain to incorporate it well. And that is a little slower process. One of the reasons we came up with these other products after coming up with Optimize is with, by having the live microbes and everything, we speed up the process and everyone's usually impatient. They wanna fix their bad soil in you know a month. When you have just a one plant that you're trying to improve, then I really like the idea of using all four products because that's gonna be fast. The other things, I really like um, earthworm castings for small areas. You, you probably get the idea. These products are a way to impact large areas at a low cost. Earthworm castings are fantastic, but you can't impact large areas at a low cost with earthworm castings. In areas where I have a chemical problem, I usually use all our products, a little bit of earthworm castings, and activated charcoal and you you know it, since it's such a small area you can do that pretty inexpensively we mix one part optimize two parts nourish biosol and three parts maximize we mix it all together like in a bucket or a wheelbarrow or whatever and we then we just apply it all at the same time and uh, then we spray the uh, penetrate liquid biotiller over the top of that. Uh, opinion would be to use just as a top dressing. Otherwise, um, next time I see you, you're going to look a lot older because it's going to be a lot of work to <laughs> dig that in. Oh, okay. But I, but that, okay. But that uh, top dressing of the, uh, that kind of product is very effective especially if under the top dressing you have products like this. Um, that combination is really powerful and it will change soil over time. So I would uh, start definitely once a year and I like the idea of every six months, especially if you see a great response, then I'd do it probably twice a year until you say, these are doing fantastic, then maybe you could do it just once a year. With all four products? Yeah, with all four products. A lot of times on, in the ground, you're, you're a asking me more questions here, you start to get more details. I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, in, the, in the ground, I don't recommend continued reapplication of Penetrate, not because it's bad, but just because it's not necessary. Um, but in containers, I do recommend uh, the continued reapplication of Penetrate. If you were a tree, which tree would you wish to be and why? <laughs>